Hi, so today I want to show you how I made this card. It's a triple cube pop-up box card. And it's something I came up with when I was sat at a demo. Um, it's quite a cool card. So obviously when, you, when it's up, as you can see, it's, it's sort of 3D. And you can see inside. It looks like three cubes stacked, or four cubes stacked. But then actually it folds down flat so you can still fit it in an envelope. Now if you obviously don't use the flowers it will fit in a square envelope if you do it within the squares. Um, but yeah, for this for this card I have used um, the purple card stock is from Paper Mill Direct and it's the violet card. Let me quickly show you. So I've used the New Lilac Smooth card, that's the base layer, that's 240 GSM. And then for the mats, I've used the Paper Mill Direct Violet Plain card, 290 GSM. All the papers I've used are just from freebies from a magazine. And all the flowers, again, and greetings, they were just a, a magazine freebie. But um, it's quite a nice, fun card, so hopefully you'll have a go. So for this card, you need one piece of card that measures five and a half inches by eleven and a half inches, and two pieces of card that measure two and three quarter inches by eleven and a half inches. Okay, so we're going to score those now. So you take your scoreboard and you're going to score at two and three quarter inches, five and a half inches, eight and a quarter inches and 11 inches. And that's that for that piece. And you're going to do exactly the same on your two strips. So two and three quarter inches, five and a half inches eight and a quarter inches and 11 inches and you're going to repeat that on your other strip two and three quarter inches five and a half inches eight and a quarter inches and 11 inches and that's all the scoring that you need to do next you need a matte layer so i've gone for this purple one and this matte Panel. You need six of these panels and they measure two and a half inches square by two and a half. You also need um, some pattern panels that measure the same. You need six pattern panels that also measure two and a half by two and a half. So you've got six of those there. And then you also need six pattern panels that measure two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So these are going to be stuck on top of your your mat panel. So we're going to stick that down. There we go. And so I've gone ahead and stuck the others. Okay. So you want to put those to one side for a moment. Now if you take the the largest panel you just want to cut, so where you've got your half inch fold line at the end, you just want to mitre the, end, the corners, so you've got like a tab, and then fold all your lines, mountain folds. There we go. Next, do the same with your two strips. So you want to mitre your edges, the corners, where the where the half inch edge is, the little bit at the end, and then fold them all.
magic holes. So now you want to stick these together. So just using a piece of double-sided tape. Oops, it's peeling off the table. And the best thing to do with this when you're trying to stick it flat is to make sure that you fold it flat when you stick it. Don't try to stick it in the air as a box. So it just lets you fold one flap over and then fold the other flap over and stick it down and that gives you your box and then you also know that's how you're going to be folding it flat in the envelope like that okay so we'll do the others and there's that one right so then with your big piece you want to do that the same so you want to put tab up tape along the top here and then stick it together like a box. And exactly the same principles, fold one over and fold the other in. So that will give you your box. Okay, so fold it flat. See, this is gonna be your front. And then what you want to do is take your panels. Now what I would advise you do, obviously you can see the tab there. You are going to be covering it up with paper. So you can either leave it where it is and it's going to be covered. Or you can just turn it round to maybe, you might say probably there, like that. So now it's going to be at the top, put it like that. It's going to be at the top of your, um, of your box, which means you won't see it. So what you want to do is you want to stick that into place there. So I'm going to use wet glue for this just so that I can get it positioned perfectly. You want to make sure it's lined up with the bottom of your card and it's lined up with the side. Give it a good press down. Make sure it's well stuck in place. Oh, that moved. Just like that. Okay, like that. You need to make sure that this box does not overlap that halfway fold because your other box will be going on on top. You don't want it to over, overshoot the mark, as it were. So that's pretty much stuck. So we're going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to, although I've got a bit of a gap there, that's going to be my base. Just trim that bit off, actually. Right, so I'm going to stick, um, let's have a look. Files flat like that. I want that to be on the inside. I think like that because it's going to be yeah so that way around like that you can cope with that then your boxes should then fold down like that which then means that when you're opening it up there's your box that so now with it folded so we're going to fold the bottom bit flat and we're going to start sticking these pattern panels in so these are all going to go on the outside of the card Oops, pattern like that. another one here one here and then two on the top there so 
can't see so two there as well so the whole of the outside is going to be covered in these panels so I'm going to go ahead and do that now Right, so there we go, that's that stuck down. So now what we need to do is stick the other pattern panels in. But before we do that, we just need to work out what we're going to put on our card. Right, so I've chosen some flowers. So we're now gonna stick them on. Now before I do the actual flowers, I'm gonna do the inside part here. Now before you stick these pattern panels because they're going to go in there like that and the other one on the other side and also on the base as well because that's the bit you're going to see um, we need to put in the little tabs because we're going to put this little greeting here sticking out so we're going to make a little tab so we take a piece of just a piece of scrap it mustn't be any wider than your like taller than your greeting and you need about I mean you know I would say maybe two inches. Hang on, so we can how big this is. Yeah, maybe two inches, or roughly two inches. Roughly two inches. It can be less, depending on the size of your greeting. And what you want to do with either one is just fold them both in half. You can score it if you want, but it's not that it's not that important. So both of them in half to make a little L shape. And then you're gonna put tape, just move my flowers out of the way. And then you're going to put tape either on either side of your little hinge. Like that. And then, now this is going to be a bit, it's a little bit fiddly to do. But you're going to peel off the back of one. Leave the backing tape on this side, but this side is you're peeling off. You're making sure that the folded part is going to go in the folded part here. And what you want to do is very carefully line it up. let's fold it in half like that it's easier just whether you can see it this this is the hinge bit it's, it's folded this is the folded edge here and i'm lining it up with the folded edge here now you want to stick it halfway i'm going to have to just lie it down so i can see what i'm doing so it ends up like that you can see it has a little hinge there And you want to do the same on the other side and it needs to marry up so your other hinge needs to line up with that hinge so it needs to go kind of there and again folded edge lines up with the folded edge There we go. See that? You can sort of see that with the hinges sticking up. And what you're going to do is you're going to peel the backing tape off that. And you're going to stick your little 
greeting on top and you're going to have to sort of do it blind um that's not blind but let me just There we go. So when you stand it up, you can see it stands proud. It stands proud of the um, the back. So now you can go ahead and stick your pattern panels in there. Now for sticking them in, I definitely would advise using wet glue because you need time to manoeuvre it around to get it into place. There's the first one in. I'm going to stick the second one in there. There's six in total, and you'll see in a minute where the others go. There we go. So now the other two pieces need to go here and here. Well, I'll say the other two. You've got six in total, but the two of the other pieces have got six in total. See them there at the bottom? Right, so the remaining two pieces that you have are just going to go in the back of your top section. It's just so that when you look in you don't have just all lilac and it also covers up the tab as well. If you want to you can make panels that go all the way down um, but I quite like just the square and you can always stick a flower on the top of them as well, just so that, that you know, or some, some kind of embellishment or something to make it stand out. There we go. And all we've got to do is stick the flowers on. So I'm just going to press this down because I want my flowers, I want to make sure that my little groups of flowers don't go below, this is your base, they don't go below the base. So I'm going to stick them on with pads. Right, so then my flowers are on there, and then I'm going to put a little greeting at the top here, just for you. So there we go, I've stuck the little just for you on. I also added a flower and a butterfly, and then there is the finished card. And you can also, if you want, you can cut aperture at the front here, aperture there, and have things hanging down inside. Um, cut an aperture at the front and have something inside there. You can do all sorts with it. I'm going to try and do another version of it as well. Um, but yeah, it's very easy. Folds flat. Obviously, if you haven't got these flowers going over that line there, then it will fit in a nice square envelope. Otherwise, you'd have to make allowances for that and make a rectangular envelope. But um, it's quite a cool card. 
So I hope you have a go.